Hola everyone, Christian here. Today we're gonna go over why restock alerts are so powerful, how they work, and our recommended apps to set it up. Let's get started. Everyone runs into inventory problems from time to time and Shopify owners are no strangers to these. Running out of products and failing to get rid of those out of stock products can hurt your business. Customers want to see the products they want available and if not, offer them some alternatives. The solution is back in stock notifications or restock notifications. So why should you use restock notifications? So on Shopify, unfortunately, out of stock products are not automatically hidden. So customers who stumble on those products, they may love it and realize it's not available. It will just be incredibly frustrating for them. And potentially they could even leave your site because maybe it happens more than once, right? Trust me, I've been there by using back in stock email or push notifications. You can actually capture that lost revenue for people leaving your store because they're getting frustrated, right? So with restock alerts, visitors or customers, uh, they will realize that actually this product will be back available sometime soon. So word of caution is do not use uh, any restock alert or anything like that if you're not planning on getting more inventory. So that would be the only caveat here. Don't just install this willy nilly and pretend that, yeah, because again, it's just gonna frustrate your customer even more. Um, that's gonna be just bad for the whole experience. Um, I've actually been trying to get these uh, shorts from Target for the longest time. I signed up probably a year ago for restock notifications just like this, uh, obviously on the Target website, so it works a little bit different. I'm still waiting. Before we're moving on, I just wanna say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Vibrandy. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss out. So having restock notifications uh, actually benefit you in multiple ways. Uh, one, you actually get increased traffic in sales, obviously because you're notifi notifying and emailing and sometimes sending SMS messages to your customers and visitors when a new product uh, is being brought back. So they get like a, hey, we got your product, come back and purchase it. So you can actually um, also build a relationship with a customer. Um, it makes them feel important, right? Um, you're actually messaging me whenever something's available. Uh, it just takes it to uh, an extra level of, of care uh, for them. So it just creates a, just a psychological connection with them. Uh, another great thing is that it's all automated and just easy to use. Um, as you'll see here in a little bit, uh, we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how to install one of the apps. Um, I'm gonna recommend a few of them, but it's super easy to, to set up. You set it up once and that's it. It automatically sends those emails to your customers. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, please consider clicking on that like button. Okay, so let's go over some of the recommended apps. Um, this is what you guys came here for. Uh, these are apps we recommend based on uh, the back in stock notification. So uh, there's a lot of them out there that have other features sort of built into them. Um, we're just trying to focus on just that, this back in stock notification feature. Uh, and then disclaimer also, none of these apps are sponsoring or anything like that. Um, so first off, number one, it's gonna be Restock by Hengame. Um, good thing about this one, has really good reviews and it integrates with Clavio and your contact list, which is really good if you're using Clavio, which a lot of you are. Um, and then it's also super simple. I believe it's just kind of like a one click and you're, it's installed in your store already. Um, it has insightful reports. Uh, you can import, export uh, your email list, which is very important for the future. And they do offer a sort of light plan. So if you wanna test this for more than just a typical, you know, seven day free trial. Uh, you can just fall, uh, fall under that light plan. If you're just starting out and you may not get a lot of these, then uh, they also give you 10 uh, notifications per month. So again, might be something to uh, look into whenever it has those, you know, those 10 notifications. Uh, what you really want to look for here in some of these apps, um, all the ones that we're talking about today are, are great, but it's, it's the, the, the feature set that they have and if it's actually gonna work with some of the other apps that you have installed in your store and with your future plans, right, that you have we have with your store, you may want something that's a little bit more robust um, or something more stripped down, right, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. Um, the next one is probably one of the longest running uh, back in stock apps uh, that I found here on the App Store. It has probably the most reviews um, out of all the back in stock or restock um, alerts. Uh, again, super simple, easy uh, setup. Uh, something a little bit different from this one is they actually offer the 
SMS or text message alerts, as well as the email ones. Um, again, all automated. Um, it's pretty easy to customize, just like the other one. This one integrates with a few more uh, mail software. So MailChimp, Klaviyo, Constant Contact, Campaign Monitor. So it has a few more uh, in there. And then they also do have a free plan. Uh, they do have an extended 14 day free trial on this one. Uh, so if you want to test the full feature set for a little bit longer, you can with this. Um, now the free plan um, is very, very limited. It only has five email notifications uh, per month. Um, and then yeah, you get the reports, the analytics and all that kind of stuff. And then the last one is called Back in Stock by Seal Apps. Um, this one just caught my attention. Um, it seems like it's pretty new, uh, but it's completely free, but it's also super simple. So they just send that one notification. Uh, you have the ability to customize it a little bit. Uh, and the other thing that caught my attention was that they support the theme 2.0. So you can kind of move that button wherever you want which we're gonna talk about here in a second uh, when I show you how to add this app. And like I said, the pricing is just completely free um, right now. So I think that their sort of strategy is to get people to install the app um, and have it free for now. And once they start adding maybe more features to the app, then they'll, sort, they'll start tearing up uh, the pricing on, on that. So just word of caution, right? If you're thinking that this is gonna be free forever, it may not be just because they're just starting out. They're trying to get some people in to install the app and use it, but I've used it and it's super simple, easy to use, and it works just as well as the other ones. So now more than ever, you need to be able to see your blind spots in your business and your opportunities. We found a software called Triple Well, you can see the link below, that will literally put all the data points you need to know about your business into one place so that every single day you can see where your gross profit, your net profit, your opportunities are to continue to grow your clothing store. Check it out in the description below. All right, so let's install the this last one that we had talked about, the back in stock by Seal Apps. Um, I'm very excited to show you this because it's just super simple. All right, so we're gonna go to apps. We're gonna customize your store. We're gonna search for back in stock. And then in here, I wanna look for the company, so Seal Apps, it's gonna be this one. Okay, so after you install your app, all you have to do is step one, which is activate a button. You push that, that's it. <laughs> Uh, and then they do have a quick tutorial on the Shopify 2.0 theme, which I highly recommend that you install with your store um, or upgrade, right? If you have a previous theme that they, they might have upgraded to the 2.0, so that you do that. And then I uh, just want to show you real quick in here, uh, they have the get started, which just gives you the steps, which it was just to activate the button. Uh, they do have a dashboard, so you will see in here their requests for people and what they're actually they're clicking on. So you actually get a better idea on what products they're actually wanting more of. Uh, you get statistics, you also get unchecked emails people who haven't opened them. Uh, the email template, so right within here, uh, we can change this to totally 90s kids. We can change the color on that. We can also add our store logo, um, change the color of the button, make it bigger, make it smaller, what it actually says, and then the actual content of the email as well. So this one just is very generic. Hey there, we want to let you know that your product just came back in stock, da 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 da. And it actually shows them the uh, the product title, pricing, the image of the product, and the buy now button that will take them directly back to your store uh, once they click on that. So that's pretty simple, the email template. And then as far as settings, uh, just a couple of things that you can customize. So the style of the button, the pop-up, um, and then visibility and email settings. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go to our online store and see where this button will actually fall under. We're actually gonna go in here, if you guys remember from one of our previous videos where we were working on shibbies. Um, so on this one, let's go to the product page and then default product. We're using here the new Dawn theme, the OS 2.0. And so as we can see, Technically it's already added, but let me, let me remove it so you can see the process of that. So when you go here the first time, you're not gonna see the button being added automatically. What you wanna do is add block. And then in here, depending on the apps that you have, this will show you uh, the, those options. So right now, because we have that back in stock email notification app, um, we have it as a block available to add into this page. So we can click on it and then this is where you actually get to customize it a little bit and uh, you can tell Shopify where you want this button to show up. 
Typically, it's going to be right next to the uh, buy now button or where that would typically be at so that you can see the sold out and then you can click on the email me when available. So I'm going to click save on that. And then let's see if we can do a little preview of that. Let's go click on shop. So as you can see, this product right here is sold out, but I can click on it. I can still see all the information, the sizes that you offer, but then it says sold out. So I can't really do anything with that. But with that new email me when available, I can actually select the, the size that I want. Um, I'll input my email address and then I'll just click that button and that will notify me when that product is back in stock. Okay, so that's how you add the back in stock notifications to your product page. If you're still interested in improving your product page even further, then I would highly suggest to check out this video on how to use SEO on your product page and more specifically the meta descriptions. So now you're done with this video, go check out that video right now. See you on the next one.